What's going on, my kitsunes? It's your favorite great tail fox foxy. Come back after the brand new episode of SimCity 4 Foxwell. And in today's brand new episode, we're going to be building up more of the office district out here. As you can clearly see, I'm trying to um, make this some um, Holborn offices, I think it is. I don't think this is the Holborn offices. It's 110 Cannon Street. I'm trying to make it work with the exit ramp. And unfortunately, as we're going to find out later in this episode, there is kind of like really no way for that to even happen. So, yeah, I kind of had to move the entire office building and whatnot. And obviously, I'm still kind of working on, like, getting all this stuff sorted out here. I, I don't know. If, I don't remember, actually. Was there a way? I don't know. I just woke up, like, an hour ago. So, yeah, I'm literally recording this, like, right as I'm waking up recording this commentary. But if I recall my recording correctly, there was really no way to make this all work out here. Because you had too many entrances and whatnot, too, that I really wanted to hook up the, um... Yeah, now I remember. I really wanted to hook up the roads here some of the entrances out here using the what was it again the sam mod because with the sam mod you can actually make um street pieces street start pieces and have different textures and everything like that and it does look pretty cool and i thought you know what it would look even more cool if i hook it up to the um buildings over here too but unfortunately i guess you know the king of sim city offices not all not all of them are generally built that way so yeah that's definitely something right there but anyways right now we're currently adding on some of the exit lanes out here we finally get this exit area kind of like finished up out here and i do want to point this out too because this is kind of a drastic action didn't really want to take it too much out here but kind of had to yeah we're gonna be using a lot of zoning this particular episode don't worry we do put down some offices we do put down some other things but right now we're kind of like you know building offices is kind of like our main priority and we're going to be using the zones out here in particular to do that but anyways, right now we got the exit ramp out, we got a little roundabout coming together, and that does look pretty good. Just make sure traffic is always flowing off the exit out here, because you've already got to have traffic stopping for the toll booth out here, and I don't think there's really any good, um, boothless tolls available yet for, um, SimCity 4, at least as far as I know. I know they're available in City Skylines, you could build a boothless toll in City Skylines, but not in SimCity 4 for some weird reason, and I don't know why, but, you know. No, it's probably just the fact that no modders got into it yet. Maybe I just gave a modder the idea. I, I really don't know out here. I don't know. If any modder actually does want to take it on here and post it on, like, some or something like that, I, I, and probably the rest of the community would really love you for it, too. So, yeah, it's definitely fun. But anyways, right now we're kind of, like, adding in a few more offices. Nothing too serious right about now. And I do end up sprinkling some apartments in there, too. Kind of like how I did in the previous episode. We're kind of, like, extending the office park from episode 7 out here, too. So, yeah. That's definitely going to be fun. But, anyways, right now we get the signs. We got everything else coming along. I was originally going to put a sign before the toll booth out here. But I'm like, mm, you already know what direction that's going in anyway. That's going southbound. You, you got to go to the other side, actually, in the downtown, if you want to go northbound. And again, that's just because of how densely packed the area actually is. We cannot build um, traditional toll road interchanges. I mean, we've already got a giant trumpet interchange immediately to the south of downtown that has already taken up a pretty massive footprint, if we're being honest, down here. So, yeah, we don't want to build, like, you know, kind of like another one of those out here. But anyways, right now we're kind of adding some little pathways and everything like that. Just make sure the city is nice and walkable, and we already know we're going to be adding the bicycle parking lanes. Or was it the bicycle parking lot? I don't know. I, I think it was called a bicycle parking lot. But yeah, I figured I'd kind of add that in there too. Again, we want to encourage walking and biking as much as we physically possibly can. Especially in such a large city like this. Because the more people that walk or bike places, the less cars are going to be on the road. And obviously the better traffic's going to be. And obviously if you're an urbanist, you're going to want a city with good traffic. And that's kind of how you tend to achieve it in larger cities. But anyways, we're adding the little Zurich Center over here. It does look pretty cool, if I do say so myself. And it actually connects to the rest of the road network really easily using the, um, using that trick with the street. I, I think it was the Sam 7. Yeah, it was the trick with the Sam 7 that I brought up earlier out here. And I think it absolutely looks amazing. We're also going to add some trees kind of like right nearby. Something very unusual for me to do because usually I don't use the MMPs out here. Or at the very least I don't use the park menu MMPs because, you know, ploppable trees. It can kind of be a bit of a, it can kind of be a bit painful to look at at times. Of course, you know, we got to hit the, um, we got to hit that little glitch area too, if you will. But anyways, right now, got a few other palm trees going up. And of course, you know I can't do this without highway walls. We gotta have the sound barriers, especially in downtown for the highway. 
Although, one thing I will note in future cities out here is the ability to build sunken highways. It's probably gonna be a pretty important thing, actually. I don't know, though. Let me know what you guys think of the idea of a sunken highway. We have not built downtown Whisper and Kitsune Island yet, and we're probably not going to for a long while out here, because I want to build some of the surrounding um, suburban communities first. So if you want to see a sunken highway over there, please let me know, because I feel like it could be a lot nicer looking for um, urbanist viewers out here. I would have to raise the terrain of the downtown area considerably in order to be able to pull it off, but I absolutely think it could be done. But anyways, right now we're kind of adding the sea balls. Of course, you know, one of the sea balls thinks they're a funny guy and they want to place incorrectly. It's like, bro, really? How long do I spend at this, man? How long do I freaking spend at this and you just decide it'd be funny to place incorrectly? But anyways, right now, currently working on a few other things at the moment. We're currently getting a few things down. I think what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find some parks out here, but of course, you know, my recording actually kind of stopped weirdly for some reason. Well, it's not the recording that stopped, it's my viewing of Premiere Pro, I'm actually commentating over what I'm seeing going on and transpiring in Premiere Pro. I also tried putting down a few smaller office buildings that were ploppables, but none of them really kind of fit the vibe out here. I mean, I've already got the Keyside Tower, Birmingham out here. I've already got a few other um, smaller buildings out here that actually don't look pretty bad and they're, that don't look very bad in their positions, but this area just didn't work. I needed a 4x4 and I needed something that would have kind of like, you know, kind of like fit in with its environment, kind of fit into its footprint, you know, and there was really nothing that I had here. But anyways, we're currently building the Hallborn Corporate Center. I need to rebuild 110 Cannon Street, don't I? Oh, and um, another thing that I did do is I tried to connect it to the road network. Some of the road network stuff couldn't be connected. Maybe it was like, you know, ripped out at some point when um, A25 was being built. Unfortunately, it also required me to redo this entire overpass because it just kept breaking everything around it to the point where I just decided, you know what, F it. We're just going to build, um, we we're just going to build, like, you know, we're going to build on the opposite corner, basically. And that's pretty much exactly what I did. I tried a few other tactics, but none of them really seemed keen on working. This time, thankfully, it didn't break the entire overpass, but yeah, as soon as I did that, I had to build it the other way. Of course, you know, being SimCity 4, it decided it would be funny to try to um, build the other way out here. But anyways, right now, as we are starting to get a little bit closer to the end of the episode out here, I'm just gonna crack that door a little bit because I really, really, really don't want to re-record this. I, I doubt it's gonna be that big of an issue once the filters are actually in place out here. But anyways, right now we got a few other things going on. We got, you know, some additional brick streets. But yeah, we are getting pretty close to the end of this episode out here. We got um, some highway walls and some apartments and, of course, some more office designated areas being built right now. But anyways, if you did go on to enjoy this video, you know what to do. You have a reminder three minutes in. You're going to have one reminder come up at the end screen. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye for now. Have a great day or night. No matter where in the world you are.